Here we go, boys and girls. There is a tundra head fixing to hit on our blue sky. It's coming across the mountain. And we had pretty good paracas last night. Thunder and lightning hit everywhere, knocked up dirt and stuff. I want to show you what it did to the army truck. See these little pieces of wood here. These old trees are about half rotten, some of them. And there's big limbs that fall off these oaks. And the poor army truck has suffered a calamity. Of course, it could fail on all the... I wonder if there's anything in the back of this truck. Nope. It could fall on anybody or anything. But it busted the windshield in the old truck. And if it put any dents in it, I don't know, which is whatever. I think this is the, this was probably all one piece. And if you ever cut any trees, if you ever climb a tree like, you know, some of y'all do and I do, do used to, uh, wood is a lot heavier when you cut it loose off of the tree than it is up on the tree. It's like it doubles in the weight, especially when you're letting it down off of the tree off of a rope. So, uh, you know, that's unfortunate that it warped it. So now I got to get a a uh, windshield for it, and uh, like a bunch of Jeeps, this model it's got a zipper here. And how you do that is, I think this has got an insert. You unzip it here, and you uninsert it here, and take this out, and it turns the glass loose, and you kick it out. And then you lay another one in there, and run your run your uh, rubber band around it, and then you put this insert in it, and then you re-zip it closed, and it's in there. So, I used to do that quite often, but I used to... He, uh, Godzilla used to be a little lizard too, but anyway, that's just the way it is today. At least it didn't fall on somebody. Bless his heart. Now, I don't know if this, this is getting pretty dark with all this stuff going on. There's buzzards, buzzards riding the wind up there. Oh, here's a tip. When you look up in the air, I don't care if you're looking up in a department store or out here in the world. My butterfly. Butterflies are... A, I go outside, I get butterflies all over me. I don't know why butterflies like me. Oh, you can't see that. Anyway, I got that stripped and painted and it's got some good high heat cast iron gray on it so that'll be good and these here are put together for the front I had to get a washer for one of them that they, they don't come this one didn't come with a washer so I had to put one on it so save all your your brake washers, copper washers. So these go on probably Tamala. And uh, I reckon that's it. Let's go around here. I'll show you what I've done here. I've uh, <coughs> well that didn't do no good. I've linished back this big wad. And it looks like I'm going to have to do some more finishing on it because it looks like Hogan's goat. And we know what Hogan's goat looks like. So I'll get that straightened down and run some more stuff through this thing. And I'll get to thinking, as long as the tree limb don't fall through here, uh, I'll get to thinking about doing the rest of the body work this needs. 
as soon as I get the Chevrolet out. The Chevrolet. So, that's good. That's good, 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 good. And uh, I'm going to go back in the house. And uh, wait for the stuff to go away. So, anyway, I'm going to holler, uh, sign off here. Sorry not you to you. This is just a quickie thing on showing you what happened to the army truck, but it'll be fixed. Uh, it's just a $250 boo-boo. So, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have fun. Bye.